Hey guys, this is Jerry. We all know that people are cruel to each other. There's a story from China during the Han Dynasty that really, really takes it to the next level. So I'm going to tell it to you guys because you'll wince. So Liu Bang, who founded the Han Dynasty, my ancestor, he um, had a bunch of wives, of course, or maybe you could call one wife and a bunch of consorts or concubines, whatever names you call to the various women he bedded. And he married um, the first lady in question. It doesn't matter what her name is, but just call her Evil Lady. So he married Evil Lady back when he was still just a little little tax collector in Peixian, in Jiangsu, where he grew up. And, you know, as he's conquering more of China, he takes on more women. There's one lady, let's just call her um, Victim Lady, um, was probably his most favored. He really loved her. I mean, he loved his evil wife, too, but he really loved this one because this woman was probably, like, more beautiful than his first evil wife. And this Victim Wife had a son with Liu Meng who was very smart, very capable. Whereas the other son that Liu Bang had with his um, evil wife was probably not as capable. So there were two things going in victim wife's favor. So Liu Bang, after he founds the Han Dynasty, he's putting down all these rebellions, fighting the barbarians, the Huns, so to speak, from the north. And he passes away. So now there's a succession problem. And of course, evil wife wants her son to be emperor, or and she wants to, you know, she's self-interested. So the first thing she does is, okay, I gotta get rid of this favored wife of my husband. So she poisons her son. So she poisons victim wife's son. And then she's like, all the torment that this lady gave me, I'm gonna give it back to her. So evil wife takes victim wife, cuts off her limbs, blinds her, cuts off her nose, plucks her ears so makes her deaf, um, has her swallow some sort of metallic thing to destroy her throat. And so she's unable to move, she's unable to see anything, unable to hear anything, unable to smell anything, unable to taste anything, unable to even cry out for help. And then evil wife puts her, the victim wife, into a little barrel or into a little, I don't know what you call it, a little tub to rot and like tosses her food, turns her into what's called a human pig, a zhenzhu. And that's how victim wife dies. Couldn't, she's unable to do anything but be in her head and yell in pain and realize the world is cruel and realize her son's dead. And so crazy a story, but it's very known in China and it inspired many, many sayings that I don't know off the top of my head. And the sad part about what evil wife of Liu Bang did was that evil wife's son found out about this. And you know, the son's a little more rational. He, doesn't, he didn't want his half-brother to die. He didn't want his, I don't know what you would call a uh, victim wife, what would you, he would call his victim wife. I guess his mother from, sort of his mother, but not really his mother because he's not biologically related to her. He didn't want, her to be turned into a human pig, but he couldn't do anything because his mom was too powerful. So the son of evil wife who should have been emperor just gives up on life and starts drinking heavily and dies very quickly. And so now evil wife has no son, has no male heir, heir to, to succeed the throne. So she's trying to adopt all these males, trying to put other people into the throne. Eventually what happens is, because of her cruelty and her, you know, thinking with her emotions, 
eventually enough people who are loyal to Liu Bang um, realize she's impeding China, she's impeding the Han Dynasty. So they, they um, when she dies, they put her whole clan to death. They kill off every single person in her family. Any distant relative that's remotely related to her. So because of her anger, her selfishness, her cruelty, her entire bloodline was eliminated eventually. So I don't know why I tell this story. I mean, it's shocking. Just the level of cruelty she did to victim wife or wife number two or whatever you call the other lady. But it shows humans can be really cruel, man. And this lady, you know, she was the wife of the emperor. And I mean, by all accounts, she was a very gorgeous woman who had a lot going for her. I mean, she was the, she wasn't the most favored wife, but she was the most high standing wife of the emperor. And the emperor respected her the most and relied on her for a lot of courtly and internal affairs. But she couldn't let this old grudge go. And she ended up destroying her own clan and destroyed probably the most capable successor to Liu Bang and a big, and caused a lot of turmoil in the Han Dynasty for a long time. So that's my story. Lesson is, don't be cruel. Don't be cruel and do not be selfish and angry. Think with your brain, the front part of your brain. Okay, thank you guys for watching.